Hello and welcome back to another video and this is going to be a part one and in this part one I'm going to be unboxing this uh, this Wii U Mario Kart 8 Premium Edition and then in part two I'll be having it all plugged in and I'll demonstrate the system in action. It's just a little bit easier than trying to do any edits or things like that. So put, this is part one, there'll be a part two. So for those not familiar, the Nintendo Wii U uh, was the successor to the Nintendo Wii and it was uh, around from 2012 to 2017. Now the reason it only lasted five years was because uh, of two main reasons. Firstly, Nintendo didn't do a particularly good uh, job of marketing the Wii U. So when it came out, people thought that the control pad that you see here with the screen on it was essentially just a new accessory for the uh, for the existing Wii. They didn't realise that it was actually a new console and a new gamepad. It was a new it was a new concept and and, and um, uh, product in essence. So. That didn't really catch on, and so people stuck with what they had. And then secondly, because of that kind of uncertainty, developers also didn't uh, really develop games to utilise the gamepad. Uh, and so it was essentially a, a little bit of a flop. But actually, the concepts of, of everything behind it led this um, were, were then taken forward and led to the design of the Switch. So if you imagine this being your Switch, but um, with the removable Joy-Cons rather than attached to here, uh, and the concepts of being able to to dock the gamepad or, or play on, on, the, on the system were very much taken over. It was just all they did was put um, removable uh, controllers on the side and get the marketing right and for that reason this is actually a really capable console um, and I hadn't really understood that until I'd got my hands on one and uh, and had utilized it so that's uh that's kind of the background behind it. So now I'll I'll go through this unboxing of this uh, of this Mario Kart pack, uh, and I'll also kind of do a bit of a um, condition report as we go through it. So Mario Kart 8 Premium Pack. This one includes Mario Kart. Earlier ones came with a hard copy of the game, but as you can see on this one, as they start to cut costs, this is pre-installed, so it comes it comes on it. 32 gigabytes. You get a little bit of wear just around the edges, uh, but for its age, that's that's hardly anything. And I've uh, restored the box as well as possible. Uh, we come round the sides. You basically have just some more Mario Kart imagery, and on the back you have the. Uh, the Wii U box uh, logo, so it's quite nice that you have the, the W and the U, uh, and then all the way around to the contents, which will compare against the inside. You have your 32 gigabyte console, uh, total storage system. Uh, secondly, you have the the pad. Third, you have the the Wii U AC adapter. You then have the Wii U game pad adapter. So two slightly different things. One one. Um, for the docking station and want to plug directly into it. You have a high-speed HDMI cable. So this was the first Nintendo games console to actually have HD as an output. If you remember, the Wii is actually not HD. Uh, it's, um, what's it, component, composite, component, isn't it? Uh, six is the Wii U gamepad cradle. Seven is the gamepad stand. Uh, eight is some console stands and nine is the sensor bar. Um, compatible with the Wii U accessories of the past, so in theory you could also have used a, a, Wii, uh, a Wii sensor bar. So that's everything that's inside there, but the box is in really nice condition other than the, the usual little bit of wear that you get around the edges. Lovely uh, way of packaging inside. So basically you open up the side and it comes with kind of two drawers of accessories like this uh, and what I've done is I've rebuilt everything I, I, I've backward en engineered from unboxes back in uh, you know between tw 2012 and 17 and I've repackaged this as close to you have got you would have got if you'd have got this new all I've done is kind of put a couple of things into into plastic bags but this is very much the experience you would have got uh, back back then unboxing this new so and this is if you if you buy this this is how um i will repackage it and you'll get everything as close to how you're seeing it in this video uh, a couple of things might have just moved around so on the top drawer you can see here um because uh, actually on here you can see we karaoke seven day free trial back in the day so there's a nice um amount of paperwork so you've got the uh it talks about the karaoke there's your seven day free trial customer support Wii U information uh, a free gift there quick start guide 
operations manual and Mario Kart 8 quick guide. So a nice amount of original paperwork there. And that's in its original bag. Moving on to this side here, you have uh, this one here is doo -doo 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 -doo. that one. So that one, in fact, we can see. So this is the W uh, W U P zero one uh, zero one one. So when we have a look on on the on here W P zero. So that's the game pad AC adapter. So you plug that in the game pad to charge it up. And next to it here. Again, you have on the back here, so that's the WUP002. Uh, and when we look over here, that is the AC adapter, and that goes into the cradle where you can uh, pop the um, controller when it's not in use. That's in its original bag as well, both of those are. Over on the left-hand side with the earlier copies, this is where your hard copy of the game would have sat. That's not uh, in there because it's the it's already on the console, as you'll see. As we look inside here, you then receive um, this here. So this one is number six. And as mentioned, that is the gamepad cradle. So you could just rest, simply rest it on the cradle inside there. In fact, it would probably be that way around with the, with the home screen. So you've got the cradle in there. That's just in a Ziploc bag. You get the original uh, HDMI. So again, you can always check on here, number five, it's uh, 008. And then when you have a look on here, You'll see the 008 written on there, so that's your HDMI cable. Over here, these are this is uh, number eight, so these are for if you want the uh, console to be stood vertically. These sit uh, kind of lock in uh, on the front and the back. Again, these are the original ones, as you can see in here, and on the bottom it says 009. This is where the AC power plugs into, so uh, you'll see in part two, the AC power plugs into the bottom there, and it kind of rolls on and slots in place and charges it when it's not in use. Again, that's the, uh, the official one, so that's uh, W14. And inside you have the sensor bar that just sits in there, uh, and that, if you want to have a quick look, is all in black as opposed to the, the Wii one, so it's different, it is different in appearance. Uh, and on the Wii sensor bar, uh, zero one, zero one four. So that's where you get on the top. That's all your accessories. Uh, and then when we go into the bottom section, this is then when you get the console and the game pad. So the console is in here, like this. Kind of unfolds, uh, and if it. And there's actually, if you look at the bottom, it has a little flap here. So when you open it up, it shows you a quick reference that this is uh, this model WUP101. Uh, it tells you it's a 32 gigabyte uh, as, as per over there. And then you would unwrap this, it's saying it's a UK version. And that is the Wii U. So you can see in, in terms of its size, it's, it's a lot longer uh, you know, the proportions are certainly different to the Wii. In terms of condition, as I move the, the light around, you see there's a, a few uh, light scratches across there and there. And, you know, a few light ones on the front, a few on the bottom, but, you know, nothing uh, horrific. I've polished it up as best as I can. And then, as you can see on the front there, you have the Wii U power uh, disc eject down here. That's where you would put your cards and anything else. So your sync button is there. And you've got at the back your AC adapter. So if you're not using the, um, in fact, so what am I thinking? Yeah, so you've got, da, 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 so you charge that there. So yeah, you've got the AC adapter that goes into there. And then the other one either goes into your, your docking station or into the, the, the thing itself. Uh, you've then got the multi out if you were, you're not using HD. You've got the sensor bar as we showed, and you've got uh, the HDMI using um, that cable. So that's that one there. And then we'll move on to the gamepad. So 
there was an optional uh, one to this uh, called the Pro Controller, which was more just like a handheld without a screen. But the whole concept for this was that you would have a second screen on here and you'd have the TV up at the same time and you could flick something from here onto the screen or maybe you'd have a map here whilst you were playing. And also, if the TV was in use and you're playing the game on here in the TV, you can go within a certain distance of the con of the console and still keep playing using this, this screen on its own. So uh, a very light scratch here. I'm trying to show you in the light so you can see. A very faint scratch there. Uh, it's a real fingerprint magnet. Uh, so. Um, it's just trying to show what is a scratch watch just fingerprints but i would say it's actually in in good good condition uh, all over you know like scratch there but you know pr pretty damn good uh, and number two you can see here and it mentions down there stylus is is in is in the pad so on the back the stylus is there for you to use with the pad and controls so you've got Z, ZL, ZR, uh, you've got your controls here, your D-pad, Y, X, A, B, start, select, TV control. So that's how you can turn the volume up and down, etc. on your telly, battery and power. Uh, and what I didn't know and haven't tried is if you don't use the sensor bar and you're just using the TV and not this, you can actually perch this and this will work as a mini sensor bar instead of the big one. But um, how long are we up to? So 11 minutes, that's probably long enough for most people watching. But in summary, that's the um, Wii, a boxed Wii U Mario Kart Premium Pack. I've reboxed everything as you would have got it, you know, as if you were unboxing back in the day, brand new. Uh, most of the bags are original. There's just a couple of Ziploc bags. Everything is in there. Everything works. Uh, I would say good good to very good condition for the two consoles, only very light scratches, nothing that's uh, horrific. Box is in really great condition. So yeah, just a, a really nice uh, console. It'll be repackaged like that. You know, imagine opening that up yourself for the first time and plugging it all in, um, you know, re really good stuff. So what I'll do next is I'll stop the video. I'm gonna plug all of this in and, I, and I'll demo it working. So I'll see you in part two, bye.